Luigi, the younger brother of the world-famous Mario, who, sadly enough, isn't loved as much. However, what would it look like if he was the hero of the Super Mario Bros. series? Um, I mean, Super Luigi Bros. What would it look like and could it even work out? Now we have seen Luigi as the main character in a couple of games before. For example, Luigi's Mansion, New Super Luigi U, and Mario's Missing, of course. And then there were a ton of games where he was a side character. However, in the main series, he never got as much from Nintendo as Mario got. He is the main hero, and Luigi is just another character like Peach and Toad. But what would the game look like if those roles were changed? In what ways would it influence the story and the game's design and mechanics? Well, let's first look at how Luigi was created and what his specific role is in the games. He came to life when Shigeru Miyamoto set out to create Mario Bros after being told that Mario resembled a plumber, a notion he wanted to officially establish. After observing the two-player competitive and cooperative gameplay of the arcade game Joust, Miyamoto wished to incorporate a similar style of gameplay into his own game. And so Luigi, a younger twin brother to Mario, was born, with whom he could compete or cooperate. With the two-player mode in mind, Nintendo and publishing companies such as Atari gave Luigi immediate publicity, making him the star and center of attention in many advertisements for the game. So the only reason why they created him was to give Nintendo the option of adding a two-player mode into the game. There wasn't really a reason to add him from a story perspective, since they made him a simple palette swap and gave him no backstory at all. Now since his debut in 1983, Luigi has been constantly developing. Gameplay differences between him and Mario were first seen in Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, which have been carried over into future games and have become the standard for the character. After spending years as a palette swap of his brother, Luigi has consistently been given his own graphics since Super Mario Kart in 1992 to match his official appearance as Mario's taller, younger brother. So they did add a whole lot to the character, however, not a whole lot compared to Mario, and also he didn't get as much attention. So, what would it look like if Luigi was the main focus? Well, his personality is very different from Mario's. He has both cowardly and heroic tendencies. Because of this, games like Luigi's Mansion work perfectly, since these character traits are extremely fitting for the scenario. But would this work out in a game like Super Mario Bros? Well, yes. Extremely well, actually, since you can create an extremely easy plot out of this. And you can make it even more interesting than the normal storyline, since Luigi has more going for him when it comes to personality. In almost every Super Mario game, the story goes as following. Mario visits Peach, Bowser shows up and kidnaps Peach, Mario chases after him and saves the princess. So it's the standard damsel in distress scenario. However, they don't build a whole lot on it. There's no reason really why Mario helps Peach every time. But when it comes to Luigi and his personality, he needs more reasons to help someone and a real drive. For example, in Luigi's mansion, he had to overcome his own fears and go inside a dangerous mansion to save his brother. And throughout the game, this influences Luigi, while Mario doesn't change his behavior or anything really, no matter the scenario or danger in any of the games. So if there would be a Super Luigi Bros games with a fitting damsel in distress like Daisy, then it would look very different. A bit like this. First, you get some scenes and scenarios where you see Luigi and Daisy together, for character and relationship building reasons. The reason why it would most likely start out like this is because of the fact that Luigi is easily scared and can be very cowardly. However, if he really cares a lot about the person in trouble, then he can be very heroic and will help out. So therefore, in the beginning, there must be some character and relationship building, otherwise there is no real reason for Luigi to overcome his own fears. And this also gives the player a real reason to save the one in trouble. After this, the damsel in distress would be taken by the villain. Here you would most likely see a dramatic cutscene like you see in Super Mario Galaxy and New Super Mario Bros Wii. 
Now the third and final part, Luigi's great adventure to save Daisy, and here he would constantly struggle to overcome his fear, and have to really focus to get there. A bit like in Luigi's Mansion, all it takes is some cutscenes and some little scenarios in between, that show how he feels and his mindset. A good example of this in Luigi's Mansion, is him humming the music in a nervous way, or him screaming Mario's name. All of this would lead to a way more interesting and deeper story than the one seen in Super Mario Bros, and this is mostly because of Luigi's character. And we could even see new villains like King Boo, his arch nemesis, maybe even a game where Bowser and King Boo work together. It would certainly open the door to more possible plot points for the series. Another good example is the heated rivalry between Luigi and Waluigi, sharing bad chemistry in all the games they appear in together, and acting hostile and rude towards each other. There are a lot of options here. However, what would it look like gameplay-wise? Well, here the controls would feel a bit different. In some of the games like Super Mario Bros 2, he can jump higher than anyone else, and in a lot of 3D games, he has a higher top speed, but doesn't build up speed as fast. In Super Mario 64 DS, he can also scuttle to slow his fall, and his backflip has the same effect as being caught in a twee star, or stomping a fly guy, allowing him for a slow descent. Overall, Luigi is very agile and floaty when it comes to his moves, and this would certainly have an influence on the levels. In some ways it would be more like Yoshi's Island, since Yoshi is also quite a lightweight character. Besides these gameplay changes, they would also change the layout of the level slightly. For example, add secrets higher up in the level, or making jumps harder. This is because Luigi can jump higher and hang in the air for a bit, so short and easy jumps would be a piece of cake. What they also could do is think of some fun gameplay elements that require you to use the special abilities that only Luigi has. The scuttle jump could be used in a boss fight to dodge a certain attack, or a fight where you use platforms a lot. Besides this, Nintendo wouldn't change a whole lot. Luigi is still extremely similar to Mario, so a lot of the mechanics seen in Super Mario Bros will remain. However, something they could add is more enemy types. This makes sense and can be a lot of fun if you combine this with a new villain that has different minions. For example, more ghost enemies if King Boo joins the fight. Overall, there will be some layout differences, some special things built into the level that play on Luigi's abilities, maybe some new enemies, and the story will be more interesting and deeper. But what would happen to Mario? Well, he will become the second player and would have to build some character. Since overall, he's a bit of an empty shell. He doesn't have a set character, a way of doing things, anything really. He's quite basic, which would be interesting to see, because if he doesn't do that, he will not stand out and be forgotten. We only remember the side characters because of their quirks, like Toad. That fella has been memed to death because of them. Luigi is a very different character from Mario in many ways, so if he became the hero for the main series, it wouldn't be the same series anymore. Some things would be good, and some things would be bad. It would be interesting to see at least. Alright everyone, I'll be going to Comic Con London this year, so if you're there, then let's meet up! The event is from the 27th to the 29th of October, and I'll be there for the entire event, so be sure to follow me on my social media to know where I am. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to watch more videos, click the annotations on the screen right now. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell button so you won't miss anything, and I hope that the weather outside is amazing, so after this video, you can go outside and have fun.